What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to be exploring a small neighborhood in Manhattan which I think is pretty worth to explore and it's a high-end neighborhood with beautiful tree-lined streets and architecture which is called Gramercy Park. There is a local park there that's really private so I cannot really get in but I can show you the surrounding areas and the architecture you know so I don't think it's going to be a long video due to the neighborhood being small but I think it's a neighborhood that's totally worth to explore so we're going to walk around there show you some of the surrounding areas so without further ado join me. And this over here is 23rd Street. The beginning of the neighborhood is going to be around Park Avenue and it stretches between 23rd to some parts of 14th Street and it stretches a couple of blocks around but once I get there you're going to see how nice it is and it's a neighborhood here in the heart of Manhattan that I think you guys are going to like it. Got to tell you the weather's being pretty bipolar. Today you know it's not too bad it was a little chilly this morning then a few days ago it was like it felt like it was December like really cold in the morning then next week it's going to be in the 70s like a light sweater or t-shirt weather but that's how it is over here ahead of me is Park Avenue so I should be entering Gramercy Park. This over here is Park Avenue. So I'm literally inside Gramercy Park. So I'm gonna make a detour ahead of me, which is 22nd Street. And you're gonna see how beautiful the streets are. But even so far here, the architecture is nice. I'm gonna cross the street to show you what's happening in this side that I'm standing. So this over here is Park Avenue, which is also like a high-end street that goes all the way to Grand Central. Then on the other side goes all the way to East Harlem. But over here, you can start seeing the architecture that's going on here, you know. Classic buildings. This is the borderline of Gramercy Park. Once I go inside there, it's going to be the actual neighborhood. So here you can see what I'm talking about. Here we got like a high-end west one. Then ahead of me is a nice street with the trees covering it now. We're in the fall season, so I think like in a couple of weeks, you'll see how the leaves start turning orange. But you see how nicely decorated they got the sidewalks, you know, with the flowers and everything. So they really maintain the neighborhood, you know, pretty nice right here. Like this, it's pretty nice. It's over here, it's a nice looking building. Probably an apartment complex, but still to put still it's pretty nice. It's just like mostly residential areas, as you can see. Over here is Lexington Avenue. The park is ahead of me, and then the other side turns into Irving Place. And you can start seeing the architecture here. The bathroom just a couple of scaffolding. The thing about this park is it's only private, it's only for the residents. So I guess they got like a special key to get in and I would have loved to cover it because it looks pretty nice, but we can still explore around the neighborhood, around the area, so you can see what's going on. Park is right here, and then you can see the surrounding areas, how they got this beautiful, like, residential apartment building that's right here. They are pretty nice. Kind of gives it like a semi-vibe of Washington Square Park and Tompkins Square Park. But I'll try to get a little bit close up so you can see what I'm talking about. You got a park here, Gramercy Park Historic District. So that was developed in the 1831. And I'll try to show you. You can see a little bit of the inside right here. So, you know, it's private and only like a special key to get in. So I cannot get in, but it's still nice to admire the surrounding areas over here with the trees and everything. Now here you can see a little bit of change of colors of the fall season with the leaves of the trees, which is something that's beautiful. But for that, I think it's good to go to other regular neighbors like in Brooklyn or even in some parts of Westchester County or upstate. You'll see how beautiful it turns. And in the past, I heard a lot about this neighborhood, but I never been to. I found out because one day I was live streaming and I did like a little random street. And then I discovered this area over here. So that's the beauty about exploring when you walk around all the areas, areas over here. But then ahead of me is going to get even nicer. As you can see, it's just mostly apartment buildings. But then this street over here, which is called Gramercy Park. Not sure if it's the north or it's Gramercy Park West. So if you make a left over here, you'll see how nice it turns and since Halloween is coming up they already got the decorations of Halloween. At some point it reminds me also of the downtown district in Jersey City like this. So I like this building and I like the balcony that they got over here. It has like that colonial architecture and the lamps over here that gives it a nice twist and of course they got the pumpkins because I'm filming this video in October. Mid October you know and then a couple of decorations of Halloween. And then the iconic park is right here. They got all the vegetation, you know, but they preserve it, you know, it's probably one of the few private parks in New York City. And what I like about this neighborhood, how impeccable the streets are, like how they maintain it clean, but that also 
it proves your word. There is money or dinero, you know, that's how they maintain a neighborhood. Like here, you can see how clean the sidewalks is. Then 20 Street is right here. I'm gonna make a left and walk towards my other left to show you the other side that's happening over here. But then look, a couple of brownstone buildings and then it takes you to another part of the city. Uh, uh, yeah. Here would be nice to show, but then the damn scaffolding is in the way. And that's something that, I mean, I think it's impossible to avoid when you're around New York City, no matter what time of the year it is. Because see how they got their entrance. I mean, the inside is gorgeous. This one over here is pretty nice. Got the balcony, the lamps and everything, so. And then ahead of me, you know, you see how the sidewalk is. And this building is called 18 Gramercy Park South. So I guess it's like a little semi-district and then they got like the little entrance right here. Yeah, this building in the corner is pretty nice. We're gonna walk over this street a couple of blocks towards 14 and then we'll merge back to see what's going on. But let's see what's happening over here ahead of me. And then of course it's surrounded by the park right here. So you can see, you know, pretty high end. And so every street that you walk is pretty much uh, worth it to explore. Now let's go make a left towards Irving Place to see what's going on, show you a little bit. And then we're going to turn back probably walk 3rd Avenue, which is one of my favorite avenues in New York City. And there are also like, I think like two more parks around this area that we can explore, you know, pretty much private, but I think it's going to be a good adventure to see what's going on. You know, here you can see what's going on. This is kind of like a semi main street of Gramercy Park. And then just look at this building over here are pretty nice and of course you see the famous New York City steam right here but I just really love the details of the architecture you know even here too the way how they label it and this building in the corner is going to be pretty nice I think it might be better if I cross the street and show you from the other side because it's literally surrounded by the leaves I did a little detour because this street over here is pretty nice but like I say most of the neighbors that you, you go in New York City, sometimes even if it's unplanned, you got to check out every single street because every single street is like unique and something pretty cool to look at. But I'll show you what's happening over here. Got this one here, it even has its own parking garage. So I guess it's like a private party house, a mansion. It must be, you know, expensive and pricey. Then we got some more happening over here ahead of me. So I'm going to walk over here, then I'm going to turn back and continue my stretch. Look at this building over here, wow. One, two, three, four, five, plus the basement story. Plain gorgeous, and of course you see how impeccable the sidewalk is right here. And if you're, you know, an architect or a fan of architect, then New York City is probably a heaven for you. Because we got all types of architecture from old to modern architecture, like this building is over here. That is actually uh, really cool. As you can see, you know. So you saw a little bit of the street, I think it's 17th Street. But I'm gonna do a couple of more blocks to see what can I find and then turn back. And this over here is um, Irving Place and you can see how nice and impeccable the streets are and the sidewalks are pretty wide. Even got a tavern over here. If you go ahead, it's 14th Street and Union Square should be there. Even over here in the corner, it's pretty nice to look at. And like I say, the signs are written in brown color. That's how you know you're in an historic district. And over here, this is 18th Street right here. It is pretty nice and cover up with trees. I see a park at the end that we're gonna go there in a bit. But let's continue going over here and look, like I say, impeccable and then they decorated nicely with the colors, you know? So yeah, even in Manhattan, there's tons of neighborhoods to explore. You don't gotta really stick to Times Square or 
the touristy areas, Fifth Avenue, you could go wander around other parts and discover like a lot of hidden gems. But it's like I say many times, venture out in other balls. There's so much to see in this city. So, you know, really cool. So now let's make it towards Third Avenue, which is also like a main avenue over here that goes all the way to East Harlem. But it got like a lot of residential units with business in the first floor. So we're gonna do a couple of blocks around there then probably merge to Second Avenue and past Stuyvesant Park, which is also like another local park right here in Gramercy Park. You know, like I said, the neighborhood is not big, but I think it's a really cute neighborhood to explore. And even over here looks pretty nice. You see some of the old apartment complexes and they're renovating this one. So that's what I like about New York City, that even the old buildings, they renovate it and they preserve it and they maintain it, you know. Even if a lot of buildings are from the 1800s, they still look like in pretty good shape. The fingers are really expensive nowadays, you know. That's like literally history right there. Okay, right here, Sturt Avenue, like I say, one of my favorite avenues, I prefer it over Fifth Avenue. It's just like it's so unique. You can see how wide the streets are. Like I feel like it's much more local than Fifth Avenue. You see they got a couple of businesses and a lot of high-rise buildings. So let's do a couple of blocks around here to see what's going on, what can we find. And here it seems like we got a little market right here. West Side Market and they got a couple of pumpkins and stuff and fresh fruits and vegetables. But if you go like to the 20 whatever street, it gets even more interesting. But even over here still look cool to look at and Several high rise buildings, some of them they even got balcony happening. So once again, before I continue to my street, doing another detour over here, because I see some pretty nice looking buildings right here in 18th Street, that I think it's totally worth to explore. So let me just show you, and then we head back to 3rd Avenue. So here we got the cute looking buildings right here. Different colors, like they got a grayish color, and then this is like the traditional building that you'll see all over New York, even in Jersey. And it keeps going over that way, but yeah. Just a little view of the entire lamp, and you can see how nice it is. With the trees, that makes it pretty unique. And then for some reason, look how massive these trees are. How they take over the sidewalk and they go all the way up. It's a good thing that they maintain it, and I think they should, because you know, it kind of helps out with the weather and, and the conservancy, you know, the environment right here in the city. But now we just head back again, uh, Third Avenue, continue our twitch. Then we're gonna merge into Second Avenue to check out the local park over there, and then I just think I'm gonna most likely wrap up the video. I think it's being a pretty awesome evening right here in Gramercy Park, and I can say tons and tons of neighborhood all over the city to explore. You get what I say? You know they got business around here throughout Third Avenue, glass store, but then they also got like tons of restaurants, even bars. There must be one here right ahead of me with the outdoor sitting area. So this is, not sure, this is an Indian joint. And then they got a taco joint right here. And there's even more here ahead of me. It's, it's actually literally like a deli and they tell you what they have. Wow, they even got like Indian food in a deli. So it seems like it's an Indian deli right here, cool. Just like the one they got in the East Village. And then over here you just got tons of high rise apartment buildings. That's what mostly 3rd Avenue composed and stuff. And this is the other side of 3rd Avenue. I think here you get like a better view of what it looks like. It's, you know, pretty busy. 3rd Avenue, 2nd Avenue, and 1st Avenue are pretty unique and underrated. Like they got like their own um, unique vibe, so. But then you can see the people walking around and they got this place here that has go hard with the Halloween decorations. It's actually like a tavern. It's really cool, and then we got more buildings right here ahead. And then you can see how wide and impeccable the sidewalks are. So, and then if you merge into the regular streets, you see they really got some nice architecture. Heading towards 23rd Street, you can see how the buildings start getting taller. The more we head towards the Midtown area, the taller the buildings they get. But it's still pretty cool to look at. There's all like modern buildings combined with the old architecture. And the good thing is once you escape like the 30 whatever street and you head towards the 20th street, it's like you literally got it all to yourself because you don't see it so packed like if you head like more towards Midtown. So that's the reason why I like coming over this way because it's much better. This is cool, they even got a 24 hour diner right here. It's got to search around all the diners in New York and the Tree Line Street. It's probably small out here, but it's just uh, pretty cool. And you need to say every time I discover new and new diners happening all over the city. And then over here, this must be nice to live over here. High wise building on the balcony.
gonna make it towards Second Avenue to see what's going on, past some of the local parks. Tell you, the design is pretty nice. Huh? They got the sitting area and all of this right here, which is really cool. Like I said, let's hit Second Avenue to see what's going on over this side of Gramercy Park. Check out the local parks. Then we go to the other side where the end is, so you can see Stye Town. Not that I'm gonna go inside, but it's gonna show you like the outside. A couple of years ago, I filmed that district over there, and I think it's really cool. This over here is a pretty unique building. It got multi stories, but I like how the way the design is, like the balcony. Kind of has like a semi, I don't know, European vibe, like if you're in another city in the outskirts of Europe. And then you can see the trees are turning with the yellowish color because we're already in the fall season. This is over here, Second Avenue, and the same, kind of like the same semi vibe with Third Avenue. Mostly, you know, tall residential units going on over here. And then you can see how wide the sidewalk is. You know, a lot of people, they don't venture around this avenue. It's mostly like Sixth Avenue, Fifth Avenue, you know, in the Times Square area. But there's a lot to see. There's even like a basketball court across the street. So let me see if I can cross the street to show you guys. So it's mostly like a basketball court, which I can see from right here. Not sure if it belongs to the school, but I see just a lot of kids playing around there. But I think I want to go check out Stuyvesant Park. I think that's going to be even more interesting. You know, I'm a, lo I'm a fan of checking out every local park in every neighborhood uh, I explore. So, you know, it must be good. So far, the weather, it was cold this morning. It's starting to warm up. And you can see behind me how I got everything literally to myself right here. <laughs> so, you know, good area to vlog. And here they got a small local playground. It's not only the park, but they also, you know, in every neighborhood that you go, you'll see playgrounds for kids. And like I say, the weather's still nice for the kids to come out. And then, of course, the massive Second Avenue, then Stuy Park should be ahead of me. It's in that side and in this side. So it literally takes both sides of Second Avenue. This over here is an nice looking building all the way to the top. And then the local parks are ahead of me. I hear an ambulance coming out, you know. That's how you really know it's a New York City video when you hear the sirens, whether it's an ambulance or a cop. <laughs> but yeah, this is still part of the Gramercy Park, 17th Street right here. Let's see if we can check out one side of the park. I don't remember if it's actually private or public, but we're gonna find out. This is the area with the gates. Then on the other side, you can see it's also the park. And I hear like the cop unit coming out right here. So there it goes. Senior Care Ambulance. I think it's the first time I see those. Over here is the local park. It's not really that big, you know. Kind of looks a little bit like the Tompkins Square Park. I think I'm gonna cross the street to see the other side of the park. Crossing the street, you can see Second Avenue right here. Not too much traffic jam, and then this is the entrance to the other side of the park that literally takes out, you know, both sides of Second Avenue. This, this, this area over here is actually nicer and less sketchier than the other side, so. So we got it right here, people just chilling. They even got like a fountain right here in the middle. But it's not like that potent the water that's falling out, but still, you know, it's pretty cool. And then we got like a church over here. Peter Stuyvesant right here. This is a statue dedicated to him. Director General of New Netherlands, 1646, 1664. Wow, he didn't really live that long, to be honest. Wow. We had 360 view of the park, and it's pretty nice. And this is what it looked like once you exit the park. Waterford Place, 16th Street. And then you got the church right here, which is pretty nice. Now, let me just go to the other side, make it towards First Avenue to show you what's going on over there, and then we're going to wrap up the video. Then here I'm back again in 18th Street. But it's probably one of the nicest streets of this neighborhood, but I'm walking over here because you can see ahead of me is going to be a nice view of the apartment complex. So here you see what I'm talking about. Look how nice they are. Some of this building it kind of resembles a little bit of Philadelphia too. But here you can see what's going on. They even got the decorations of the Halloween right here and the entrance of the door, which is pretty nice. Then ahead of me is going to get nicer. This seems like a good area to come trick or treating. Look at this one here. This one looks pretty nice. So I'm going to assume maybe in October 31st, people come here and they do their trick-or-treating. And then they do the Halloween parade here, you know, every year. It's mostly by the Greenwich Village. 
And over here we got this nice looking buildings and then push back here we got this other unique buildings. I can see some of the lamps and they even got the flowers. Some of the lamps in the inside, wow. Pretty nice and historic. It's gorgeous. Now let's make it the first avenue because ahead of me is Stuyvesant or how they call it here in New York, Stuytown. But it's a cooperative uh, apartment complex. Also the same one who designed and designed Park Tester in the Bronx by the SIS train. Most of the apartment complex, but then the first floor is gonna be like business and stores. So we're walking over here. And then, then the scaffolding really ruins it, but over there you can see, this is all Stuy Town. Goes over there, you can see like the business in the first floor. So this is the ending of Gramercy Park right here where I'm standing. And then Stuy Town is right over here. And then the thing about Stuy Town, a lot of people, they get it confused with uh, the PJs or housing projects, but those are not housing projects. They're actually apartment complex that people live there. So it's kind of like a little, I don't know, mini city within the city on its own. But it's still pretty cool, and they even have like a fountain and a park in the middle. Here you got a better view. You can see, like I said, the first floor. They got the restaurants, and then on top is just the apartment where people live. So it's kind of like, you know, a semi-private, unique area, you know. But really cool. So I think I'm going to wrap up my video over here exploring Gramercy Park. It was a pretty awesome evening over here. So that was the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all. And peace.